Tristan Tate confirms what I've been saying all along. Logan Paul is Rudy Tooty, extra fruity. Listen to this. I am known as a fighter, and I'm known as a fighter in a way that he never will be. Let me give you some context. The interviewer just asked him about a potential fight between him and his brother and Logan Paul and Jake Paul. So that's what he's responding to. I'm known as a fighter in the way that if you throw me in a cell with a murderer, a and two drug dealers who are all members of the Romanian various gangs. People look at me and go, oh, Tate, respect. That's how I'm known as a fighter. Now pay attention to this. He would have left with a higher male body count than his fiance. As awesome of a burn as that was, that is not the point of this video. The next thing he says is what you have to pay attention to. This is a bombshell. That's how he would have left jail. And, and, and well, he, he's not starting at zero. Did you catch that? He's not starting at zero. His male body count, Logan Paul's male body count is not starting at zero. Listen to it all again. He would have left with a higher male body count than his fiance. That's how he would have left jail. And, this part. And well, he, he's not starting at zero. Remember that. He's not starting at zero. He's in not that starting at zero. So. He's not starting at zero. Guys, he's not making this up. He knows something. He's got that insider scoop. This is not like when you just call your friends gay. Tristan knows. He knows what we know. As viewers of my channel, you know this. I have been saying this. I revealed in a previous video called, Why is Logan Paul marrying a man? I revealed that his fiance is actually a man. Therefore, he is in to dudes. You thought I was crazy. You thought I was a conspiracy theorist. You thought I was a whack job. Now a guy who is friends with Jake Paul, by the way, he says that in this interview that he is friends with Jake Paul. He reveals that Logan Paul's male body count is more than zero. That was not just a baseless diss. He knows what I know and what you know as a viewer of this channel. Now do you believe me that his fiance Nina Agdal was born a man? Now I'll admit what I don't know is whether or not Nina got gender surgery or just tucks it between the legs. Did Nina get that thing chopped off or is he tucking and a sucking? You understand what I'm saying? The good old tuck and suck. Now to get to the bottom of that, we would need to have a close look at his genitals and we just don't have the budget for that right now. Hopefully in the future. But what we can look at right now is some of Nina's personality traits that prove that she is a he. Watch this. The whole audience right now watching this episode, they loved our ski vlog. So this is the ski vlog that I covered in a previous video. All right. Now, Mike, his partner, his business partner, his podcast co-host is now telling Logan, hey, that vlog was a hit. Okay, let's watch this. The whole audience right now watching this episode, they loved our ski vlog. Oh. Like, bro. Really? Did you hear that? Really? Really? He's saying that, hey, our audience loved us reuniting on that ski vlog. And Nina pipes in with, really? People like that? This is what I'm talking about, about male personality traits. Is that how women respond? Not usually. Usually they go, oh, that's wonderful. But she's not done. Listen. Loved it. He, loved he it. should have put us in it more. I think it would have been. I'm shocked. Right. I'm shocked. She's shocked that their viewers liked their vlog. She's shocked that Logan's fans liked the vlog he was in. She's shocked. Do you understand how insulting that is? Oh, that vlog you put out, people like that? I'm shocked, that was garbage. Sounds like a, a salty male personality trait. Like, hey, I wasn't the star of that vlog. I'm shocked people like it. Doesn't sound like a supportive, wonderful woman. Listen to this. She's not done, by the way. She's not done. Loved it, he, loved he it. He should have put us in it more. I think it would have been... I'm shocked. I thought it was super mediocre. I thought it was super mediocre. What a bitch. I mean, if you can call men bitches, because that's a man. That's a man with a crappy male attitude. You'd think a fiancé of somebody worth hundreds of millions of dollars, okay, who does a vlog with his podcast co-host, We'll go, oh, that's so sweet. They loved you guys in that one. That's great. You guys should do more. Isn't that more of a normal response? Really? 
I'm shocked. I thought it was super mediocre. Jesus. And look at that face. This is not a, this is not a chick. This is Skeletor. Here, we got a close-up of the face. Look at this. Really? Loved it. Lo Let's use the most advanced video technology available to mankind to get a good look at this Skeletor face. Look at this. Look at this. This looks like a, a homeless man on Venice Beach. These are not the soft traits of a woman. You're not fooling anybody. You're not fooling anybody. Not with the most advanced video technology available to mankind. I mean, you got away with your lies for so long until I showed up with the highest tech, the most advanced tech, and I busted this case wide open. Anyway, let's move on. So now his buddy Mike, Mongoloid Mike, as we call him on this channel, he asked Logan, hey, now that that vlog was such a success and people loved seeing you on there with me, would you consider coming back to YouTube as a vlogger like you once were, like how you built your fame, like how you built your fortune, like how you built your empire? Listen. Do you ever consider going back to YouTube, bro? The place that burned you, the place that created you. You shoveled all that snow to buy your first camera and your first uh, <laughs> laptop to edit it on. Would you come back? Maybe. I would need approval from my teammate. I would need approval from my teammate. Who's the teammate? What do you think about YouTube? This is the teammate. Logan Paul needs approval from his fiance. What a spineless simp. Dude, that is just sad. Why do you need her approval? Who the hell is she? Did you need her approval to start vlogging? Build up your massive fan base that has led to lucrative boxing fights, insanely lucrative prime deal. But now you need permission from this thing? This person that clearly doesn't even think your vlogging is good? Man, grow a spine. I think it's cute. <laughs> I think it's cute. That is so insulting. That is so insulting. I think it's cute. That venture that led you to now be worth several hundred million dollars. It's cute. It's cute. I mean, I've done better things myself. It's cute. This type of seething jealousy doesn't come from a fiance of the person who has that success. No, you're, you're giddy. You're doing backflips all day long because you are now going to be a benefactor of all that net worth. When you divorce him in five years, you're getting the massive mansion in Puerto Rico. You're getting half of his other assets. You're getting $30,000 a month in child support, getting another $20,000 a month in alimony. So you're not, you're not being snarky and just going, mm, yeah, it's cute. You're happy. You're supportive at this phase. You're the fiance phase, right? You're not, you're not the bitter wife phase yet. These are male traits. This is a jealous male, a girl who, who just hit the lottery and is about to become 50% of his $200 million plus empire is not being this snarky. It's cute. It's cute, I guess. I mean, it's made several hundred million dollars. It's cute. It's cute, you know. I mean, I've done more important things. Like, I, I spread my legs for that hamburger ad. Yeah, you know. I did the old tuck. I tucked it in really good so that you wouldn't see it when I spread my legs. Yeah. I took the mushroom top of my penis and after I tucked, I shoved it into my anus. Just keep it really tight. Yeah, you know, that's what I did. You know, that's impressive, but making $200 million, that's cute. That's cute. I mean, I invented new techniques in the tuck and suck. You know, I'm a pioneer tucking and sucking. But your vlogs are cute, you know. Your vlogs are cute. Yeah, it's cute. That's cute. I mean, Prime sold $1.5 billion worth of bottles last year. That's cute, you know. But have you created new tuck and suck techniques? I don't think so. I don't think so. I just don't know if, if I'm ready for that kind of stuff. It's really interesting. I don't know if I'm ready for that kind of stuff. So again, Mike's question was to Logan. Would you come back to vlogging on YouTube? Her response is, I don't know if I'm ready for that. Listen, let's listen to it again. Stuff for YouTube. I just don't know if, if I'm ready for that kind of stuff. I don't know if I'm ready for that stuff. Nobody asked you. Nobody asked you, Mother Tucker. He asked Logan, the vlogger, arguably the most famous vlogger of all time, if he would come back. He's not asking you, a nobody. You're only famous for your body count. 
that Dylan Dennis exposed. You, you're only known because of Dylan Dennis exposing you for bad things, okay? It's not exactly good things you were exposed for, that you're known for. So he wasn't asking you, but he has already taken over Logan Paul's life. Yeah, I don't know if I'm ready for that. You're a vlogger now? What? This is madness. How, how does Logan have such low self-esteem that he puts up with this? That he's okay with this? Unreal. Like, he just laughs. It's really intrusive it's a lot of stuff. and time-consuming as I zoom and, and he just goes along with it. He goes along with it. Unbelievable. I mean, this whole crew is just weird. Him, his fiance, his partner, Mongo Mike, and his girlfriend. I mean, I covered in a previous video that this whole crew are just a bunch of Satanists doing the bidding of the lizard people in charge of the entertainment industry. And if you need more proof of that, well, have a look at this. Jesus Christ is in Miami. He just calls himself Jesus Christ. Only a godless Satanist would utter such blasphemy. Truly disgusting. But I got more proof that they're godless. Listen to this. We are trying right now, guys. Within the next 12 months, this will be a... Family channel. Family channel. We're here to announce it right now. Even though I have only 1% of the sperm that most people have in their loads. And I'm on birth control. And she's on birth control. Do you hear these godless people? Did you catch that? They want to have a child within the next 12 months. They're not married. They're not engaged. And you can say, well, maybe they're going to get married first. Really? So they're going to they're gonna get engaged and married within the next three months. She's going to get pregnant. Night of the wedding, nine months later. No, these godless Satanists are having a child out of wedlock. Now, don't misunderstand me. I understand that accidents happen and people have kids out of wedlock. Okay? I'm not trying to judge you. What I am saying is to plan for it with just a girlfriend? Godless, disgusting acts of Satanism. They're having premarital sex. Sinners, this is hot on. Secure the border, keep this Cuban out of here. Jesus Christ, it's just madness. It's just madness. But you know, I hope, I hope they have kids together because that kid is gonna be one goofy looking child because you have the extreme of his nose and her lack of chin. Let me explain. Let's, let's, let's look at this. Let's have a closer look at her profile, at the profile of her face. It's disgusting. Yeah, you need those crystals. They come right there. Look at this. Just look at her lack of a chin. Now imagine the child she has with Mike. Imagine Mike's Jew nose and her lack of chin. Two extremes. This is going to be the kid's face. Hi, I'm Jew Mike Jr. Oh, please have that kid. Please have that kid. Speaking of godlessness, here's Mike doing the devil's work. And to make things even more fun, I've teamed up once again with DraftKings Sportsbook to bring the big game to the next level. So here he is again, shilling out for a gambling company, pushing gambling on children because his audience is children. It's youth, maybe young adults, 20 years old. And if they're too young to get on the gambling apps, well, you're grooming them. You're telling them every single week how cool and fun this gambling thing is. So once they're of age, they'll start betting. And let me tell you, no good comes from that. These people don't care about you. They don't care about their fans. They don't care about their viewers. They don't care about the people who drink Prime, who buy Prime, who make them multimillionaires. This guy has a $4 million house in Los Angeles right now. Betting might be the most popular thing as far as what's advertised on the internet. I was watching the UFC last weekend and there was some betting company that ran multiple commercials during that UFC and they had Jamie Foxx in it. They had Vince Vaughn in it. They had some other famous guy I forgot. So they're spending millions of dollars on each commercial, hiring actors and famous athletes. How can they afford that? Because they're making money hand over fist. It's just pure profit just robbing people blind because you will always lose in the long run, if not immediately. Okay. And these guys are pushing it. 
they're pushing something that is will have no benefit to your life and only detriment and could potentially completely ruin you and your family and your loved ones. Satanists. Now watch this. This becomes a duel of the douchebags. Check this out. And gold bars. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Who do we got here? 260 pound Bradley Martin out having hamburgers with Mongo Mike and his chinless chick. Is there like a process to this shit? I don't know what you're doing, dude. <laughs> I'll beat the <laughs> fuck out of you. Right <laughs> Did you hear that? Bradley Martin said he would beat up Mongo Mike. Okay, fine. That's his shtick. He's always saying I'm the greatest street fighter in the world. And then he said, I'll steal your girl. I'll steal your girl. He's trying to alpha male Mikey. I know dudes like this. He's trying to alpha male him in front of his chick. I'll steal your girl. They're just scum hanging out with scum. But he's not done. He's not done getting fresh with Mikey's chick. Watch this. Can you run my back really quick? Dude, are you insane? No, it's just a Now he's asking the girl to rub his back. Mongo Mike's girlfriend. Listen, if you got friends like Bradley Martin, stay away from them. They don't care about you. Anyway, let's let's jump ahead here for a truth bomb. These morons actually drop a truth bomb. Listen to this. Most of the places I go to, these usually be priced like 14, 15 bucks. That's why, that's another reason why I think the line is out the door. People are getting an affordable, they're getting a bargain in this economy. Yeah, especially in Miami. Everything's expensive out here. Even the women. Mostly the women, I think. No. What does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? Listen to this again. Everything's expensive out here. Even the women. Mostly the women, I think. No. What does that mean? What does that mean? This chinless chica doesn't understand that women are expensive, that Miami type of women are expensive, that women like her are expensive. She's feigning ignorance. Well, I don't get it. Huh? What? And it's amazing she pretends that she doesn't know what that means when you hear what she says later in this video. Put her in the backseat of a colon and have Rick Ross whip her around uh -huh, fucking Miami. I'm in the front seat yeah. driving the colon in. Yep. Don't get it twisted. Girls that drive colonins are fucking weird. Bro. I want to drive my kids to school in a colon. You know Did you hear that? First of all, well, what does that mean women are expensive? And then says, I want to drive my kids to school in a colon in. Now, I didn't know what a colon in was, so I had to look it up. And I'll look it up for you just in case you don't know what it is either. Maybe you're just an innocent boy in a sewer like me. Colonin. All right, guys. It's a Rolls Royce. It's a Rolls Royce. How much does one of these things cost? Let's see. Oh, only $348,500. $350,000. $350,000. For the car she wants to drive her kids to school in. What do you mean girls are expensive? I don't get it. A third of a million dollars? For my grocery getter? I don't understand. Well, how are girls expensive? Can someone explain that to me? I don't get it. Well, what, $350,000 to drive my kids to school? How is that expensive? I don't get it. These leeches, like Nina, this chick, this chick has accomplished nothing in her life. She's an absolute nobody. But now she has the audacity to say, yeah, I'm going to drive my kids to school in one of those. Because she's dating Mongo Mike. Women are, women are expensive, I don't understand. It's only going to cost $350,000 for me to drop our kids off at school and then go to the spa and do nothing all day long because I'm nothing. All I bring to the table is no chin. Good Lord. And, and the thing is, she's rude too. Listen to this. You don't even have kids. So Mike says, hey, you don't even have kids. Listen to this. You don't even have kids. When I have kids. Well, unless I stop the testosterone. I said when I know. My nuts. I said I, not we. So she's already saying, maybe I'll have kids with somebody else. Wow. Wow. Modern women. Modern women. God help you young guys out there. God help you. Oh my God. No morals and no chins. And what rich guy is, is going to marry her and buy her cullen in after she was tainted by this thing publicly? I don't know, maybe somebody like Logan Paul. He seems to not have a problem with uh, Nina's public body count. So what do I know? Anyway, we went on a tangent here. The point is they're Satanists. And if you need further proof, like even more proof, 
Check this out. We're there and there's... God, look at that no chin. My Lord. There's some weird in there. What is it? So, Why do you oh, have yeah. this? Well, babe, before you came back around, or before you came around, I used to have to get my... Okay, so she's at his place. They're cleaning up. She found one of his anime dolls. All right. No big deal yet, right? I mean, just because you have an anime doll doesn't make you a Satan worshiper. Just makes you a dorky loser, but let's go on. Rocks off somehow. Babe, this is like every girl I've ever seen you argue with. Hey, Mike, I saw your Instagram. Can we just, let me take a second just to look at that chin again. Look at this. Now imagine Mike's Jew nose paired with this chin. Oh, that kid is going to look amazing. Anyways, back to the anime doll. Babe, this is like every girl I've ever seen you argue with. Hey, Mike, I saw your Instagram. What? All right, so he, he's, oh, he's got multiple of these statuettes. All right, some other chick here looks to be spreading her legs somewhat. Some creepy anime stuff, okay. Uh, all well and good so far. Let, let's, let's see what develops now. Oh, what's, oh, what's this? Oh, what is this? Is this a skeleton boning a clothless woman from behind? Well, that's kind of satanic, isn't it? Well, and what's this? Oh, oh, it's a skeleton laying down, being ridden cowboy by a clothless woman. Yeah. Yeah, everything's on the up and up in the Logan Paul world, right? This is Logan Paul's co-host, business partner. Why would you have these statues around your house? Some sick stuff, folks, some sick stuff. Now we do have some good news. Like his partner, Logan Paul, Mikey is losing the fight against hair loss. Look in the mirror, really take a look. Did you catch that? You catch that? Now, Mike has done a vlog where he went and got a hair transplant. He, he, hasn't made a, he hasn't made that a secret. That's public knowledge. He got a hair transplant, got this all thickened up. But what you'll notice in the mirror, if you look carefully, using the most advanced video technology available to mankind, is that Mikey boy here is going to need another hair transplant. Yeah, I can't speak, but you know what? Mikey can't grow hair. So look at this. If you look at the reflection in the mirror, okay? He's just looking in the, in the viewfinder, the camera saying, oh yeah, I look good. Not realizing the mirror is exposing his disgusting secret, a bald spot at the back of the head. Can you see that? You're gonna need another transplant, Mikey boy, because this one didn't stick. Make another deal with the devil, because that's going to cost you. It's going to cost you, Mikey, if you want a full head of hair. If you want to rock a full broccoli cut, like your boy Logan and his brother Jake. Now, I'm going to leave you with this one final piece of the puzzle in their satanic cult. Now, I want you to think of the company you keep. I want you to think of your friends. I want you to think of your richest friend and what their house is like, okay, in, in the circle in which you reside. Now look at this. Look at the people that Mikey hangs out with. I need a new one. The craziest wine sure. cellar I've... Guys, this is a wine cellar in a house, okay? What you're about to witness is a wine cellar. Ever seen in my entire life, David, Just show them off. Look at this. <laughs> this is... All the way to the top is a wine cellar in a private home. There's levels to this. <laughs> there's levels to this. Like literally, there's levels to this. Dude, there's got to be more wine than most wine stores. hundred yeah. percent. Like prime month. I mean, think about it. What would you have to do to have that level of wealth? That that's just your wine cellar. A separate building on your property. On your estate. And Mikey is friends with someone like that? Mikey is a former heroin junkie who was arrested for heroin-related crimes. He's friends with people like this, how? How? You don't earn this type of wealth in ethical ways. You don't become friends with people who have that sort of wealth unless you're dabbling 
in the underground, in the darkness. And I'm not talking about the darkness of the sewer. Because we are the last bastion of purity on earth. Anyways, this video started out talking about Tristan Tate and Logan Paul's potential fight. Now, I already covered that in another video. This potential super fight between Logan Paul and Jake Paul on one side and Andrew Tate and Tristan Tate on, on the other side. Okay, I already covered it. It's actually my most viewed video. And you can watch it right here if you haven't caught it or if you've seen it before. Watch it again.